Shalom. <clears throat> this is Netanyahu from the Holy Camp. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, I want to give double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that teach and rule well among many other things, and peace of citations to the elect that is scattered abroad for winds of earth out there in the highways of hedges, pushing his truth and sincerity. Shalom. So, like all right, so. As you can see right here in this article, you know, brothers are making videos about this right now. And even before, you know. You know, right now we in some very serious times. You know, um, as you can see here, as, as it says, uh, proposed Canadian law could see Christian jailed for quoting the Bible. Right. Which is the bill C-367. All right. And uh, you got to understand that, you know, what they're doing is, is that, you know, because Christians, they're not really about against LGBTQ, no transsexuals, none of that. They don't really speak up against that. All right. You know, because Christianity is all about love. But this is really going on for, you know, those really that truly believe in Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's name. All right. And who you ignorantly call Jesus, his real name is Yahweh Shai. Okay, this is really aimed at the Israelites that truly believe, okay, in the word, man, All right? Truly, sincerely believe in the word of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the Son's name, Yahweh Shai. You know, and <clears throat> yeah, of course, I mean, you know, you may get a bit uh, frightened or whatnot, but really we should be rejoicing knowing the fact that you know, the, the end is really drawing near and we really see these uh, prophecies speaking and not lying. OK, you know, the time of the famine of word, which we're going to go into. This is what the lesson is about. All right. As you can see more and more as we get closer into the end, the, the, the more severe and dangerous it's going to be. Right. Because we are living in perilous times. OK, so here it says if the block uh I don't know, Bill C-367 uh, passes religious exemptions under the hate speech section of criminal code will be removed, which could see Christians arrested for quoting scriptures or pub uh, public uh, publicly voicing options to sin. Okay. And this, this is clearly what the, the Israelites have been doing. With the four corners of earth pushing the word of the Heavenly Father, you can see now, you know, as Satan is rising up, okay, showing his tr uh, true color, all right, they're coming after the men that are righteous, that stand boldly before the face of those, okay, that are plainly wicked, man, and they're plainly make it uh, seen before the whole earth, okay. Now it says here, should Christians be arrested for quoting uh, portions of the Bible in public? Should pastors be charged with a hate crime when they when they preach against certain sins? Right? Should churches be closed if the government does not approve of their beliefs? You might think these are ri radi um, radicalous, ridiculous questions. After all, this is Canada. The true north, strong and free. Our nation motto is a Mary Esqua ad Mare. Quoted from uh, Psalm 78, 72 and 8, which says that, that you know, say probatum, Christ should have dominion from sea to sea. This is not communist China. However, the introduction of the bill C-367, all these questions are on the table. I call this bill the close the closet wait closet the Christians bill because that is exactly what it intends to do but Christians in the closet and you know you got to really think about how these devils are really acting man it really you know um so pretty much you know the wicked can can talk just like Lot was vexed as a filthy conversation of the wicked, right? Because they was doing all kinds of nasty shit, right? In Sodom and Gomorrah. So, 
pretty much they can do, behave, and act and say whatever they like. But if you're actually and 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 they and they and and, and they make it plain that they're against righteousness, right? But they have the freedom to do that, but yet the the righteous have to be quiet. You know, this is really showing you that we are in a, in a, a very wicked kingdom, and it starts from the head. Okay, showing you that the so-called white man is a wicked. Wicked, dirty, um, uh, violet in the earth, piece of, piece of, you know, dung, man, upon the earth, man. But anyways, I'm going to continue. Under the threat of jail time, it will silence uh, believers who oppose the woke ide ide ideology that is overrunning our country. This uh, repressive... Uh, Christoph, Christophobic proposal from Block, whatever leader, whatever his name, is currently before the parliament and may be voted on shortly. If the uh, Trudio, Trudia liberals support this bill, it will most certainly pass, striking a fatal blow against freedom of religion and freedom of expression in this domain we need to speak up while we still can and call on our members of parliament to reject bill c367 you can do that right now vi our action and this really shows you that these christians ain't really calling upon the lord at all right these Christians ain't calling upon the Lord. They don't understand prophecy. They don't understand the thing which is called uh, famine of the word. They have no understanding of the scriptures because they don't apply it because it does not apply to them. See, Christianity is just about do whatever you want to do. Right? And then seem righteous before the eyes of people, not uh, by the eyes of the Heavenly Father. Okay. Now you can read into this. All right. Well, let's see. Now it says here. I'm gonna jump down to this uh, paragraph. For the exam for example, LGBT activists have gone after one cora uh, courageous Christian named Bill uh, Whatcut for many years, whom they accused of hate crimes against homosexuals. When he handed out uh, leaflets that warned about the medical and spiritual danger of LGBT uh, practices at the Toronto Pride Parade in 2016, those LGBT activists were furious. They um, clamored for his arrest in 2018 under the government of uh, Kathleen Wayne, who was then Premier of uh, Ontario and uh, open and an open lesbian. Miss Watkin went to trial two years later and was finally found not guilty in December of 2021. However, the government of Doug Ford has appealed his uh, acquittal and is continuing to persecute Mr. Watkin for sharing what the uh, Bible says about sexual sin. So you, you got some guys out there, right? But you know, they're 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 they ain't about the truth, man. Alright, because this prophecy's coming to pass, man, and the whole earth is gonna be tried, man. But before we get to Amos eight and eleven, I wanna read um Micah 2 and 1, as it reads here, it says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And the reason why I read this is because, you know, these devils, they they devise iniquity. All right. They have been breaking down the family home, uh, starting from, I think it was back in the 1940s, 1950s. 
uh, until they got you know um, Rockefeller got a back uh, so called coalition you could say but um of women uh, for act uh, uh, women's activist uh, women's rights you know and um, it was all backed up by Rockefeller and pretty much it got the woman to get taxed as well now the now, now the females have to work and get taxed just like the man now them being in control of the money 1980s you know you had Ronald Reagan all right which pretty much was done by the elites to take away the golden standard all right when you take away the golden standard the money's not backed by anything who's in control of the money they are so they have both parents out the house the children after generations getting indoctrinated more and more in schools as you can see today, schools are teaching these children uh, about how to be an, an LGBTQ member, pretty much, okay? Like a LGBTQ uh, recruitment center, these schools are being turned into, all right? Indoctrinating these children to be uh, everything than what the Heavenly Father has set up. And it's all done by, you know, a gradualism. And as you can see now, it's, it, it is the way it is because of generation uh, of, of indoctrination, man. Okay. And, you know, as it says here in Isaiah 10 and 1, and it reads, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that, it's like it, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. And that's exactly what they've done. Through the breaking down of the house changing rules, laws, legislations, more and more your so-called rights being taken away, more they have control of the situation, even getting your family members to turn against you because they believe, you know, now that a, that a man can be a woman, you know, and so on and so on, you know, and now as they write this bill they're gonna write this bill i'm pretty sure you know if it does happen you know we don't know yet but if it does it's a clear sign that things are about to change here drastically very soon you know even though if it if it doesn't go through it's still going to happen here very soon because the scriptures say in habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 and it reads for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie. So these visions is talking about these prophecies. They're set for an appointed time. Everything has to line up perfectly the way the Heavenly Father has set up. Right? But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will not. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So there's points and times where... You we see prophecies, you know, seem like, man, it's really going to happen. And then all of a sudden, it's just, you don't hear much about it anymore. Right? But that's because the Heavenly Father is in control of all of it. And you can see now these rulers are, are, are being pushed to do these things. Why? Because the Heavenly Father is doing these. Okay? Because it says here in Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1, it says, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh. So the mind of the king is... He's in the hand of the Heavenly Father. See, and it says here, as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So just like you have a river, right? It's just like as a prophecy, right? You know, you see a prophecy, you know, that these leaders want to do these kind of things. As you see, you know, in the past happened, and then all of a sudden you don't hear nothing much about it anymore. Well, it's just like a river. You know, you see a river uh, come into a land, you know, and you're like, oh, shoot. And then uh, kilometers further, that river is uh, gone into a different direction out of the country. You know, you go up, up seven more kilometers and that river comes strong right back into the country. And that that, that is, that, that is a, you know, the prophecies, you know. They may seem like it's not going to happen, but before you know it, it's going to happen. Just like it says here in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse Three and it reads, and we'll read it again. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. These these prophecies set for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Because when it happens, you know what I mean. 
these these prophets that are out here not going to be speaking anymore, but these prophecies are going to be speaking. Though it tarry, so it's taking some time, right? You see it happening before, you'd be like, whoa, yo, this is about to happen, and boom, and then you see nothing going on, right? Wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry, because when that time comes, it's not going to, it's not going to wait for no man, right? Now, jumping to Amos chapter 8, verse 11, and it reads, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of full water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Okay, so we're about to we're about to see a time where you're not going to see videos being pushed out there anymore. You know, it was um, this week that I had a strike. I think a, a dumb female, right? She got offended about my video. And uh, try to make a strike or a complaint or whatever because, you know, all of a sudden I had a strike on my video. But then I appealed it. But the funny part about it is when I wanted to make an appeal, I clicked the, without saying anything, I clicked blank appeal. I'm thinking like, damn, I'm not going to not gonna win this appeal. <laughs> Try to go back to open it to, to say why is my video have a strike against it. Well, the funny part about it, some time after, uh, earlier this week, they uh, they um, without even me knowing, they they said it's okay for me to have the video still up, so they put my video back up, an older video too. But it just shows you that you know we're coming closer and closer to the end, where you know. Esau is just going to be, you know, taking brothers' channels out, man, completely, right? And you're not going to see brothers out there, you know, because the thing is also, right, when they're going to make it illegal for you to preach the word of the Heavenly Father, reading out the scriptures, okay, for you to be out there in these streets, you know, I'm sure that the Spirit of the Lord is going to, you know, have uh, Elder Apostle Tahar on down, okay, give the word. Starting with the elder apostles, uh, uh, Tahar, okay, just give the word and, and, you know, brothers are going to be told not to be teaching no more, you know, that's what this is talking about. And it says here, verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Because that's going to be the time where you're not going to see us teaching anymore. You're not going to see our videos posted up on the, on uh, these different platforms anymore. Okay. Um, and what's going to make them run from sea to sea? Well, as it says here. Oh, fuck it. All right. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 25, and it reads, But ye have said at not all my counsel, and would none my, of my reproof. Right? Because, you know, our people, being stubborn as they are, you know, when the time comes where, you know, you start to see things happening. Because they, when they start saying, you can't be doing this or quoting that, right? It's, it's, it's pretty much open season on snatching your butt up. And saying, oh, yeah, well, if this was offensive, we're taking you to jail. You know, FEMA troops coming, grabbing you up, right? Take, you know, taking family members away. Then you're going to realize, oh, man, this is what the this is what the men of the Lord have been talking about. When famine hits, this is what the men of the Lord have been talking about, right? But at the time when you had a chance to get right, you had a chance to listen to the words of the Heavenly Father and repent, you, you chose to despise it. Right, so when that when those days come, right, you're not gonna find the Lord, as it says here. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, right? Because that's what y'all do. Y'all make videos, make fun of us. You know, you you say a lot of things about us behind closed doors, right? You say a lot of things online about us. Well, guess what? You know, it was all fun fun and giggles. But when that time comes, it's, it's going to be all the way around. Right? Because the Lord said, you know, 
And um, let me grab it really quick. And I'll jump right back. It's not going to be a long video. Um, I believe it was in 21. No, it was 6 and 21. It's not good. Uh, 22. Actually, um, this one right here. Uh, this is Luke chapter 6, verse 21. Blessed are ye that hunger now, ye shall, ye shall be filled. Blessed, blessed are you that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Right? Because when it when the time comes, you know, we're not going to be ashamed of the things that we have done according to what the Lord wants us to do. We're not going to be ashamed in those days, but you will. All right, because the Lord is going to protect us. The Lord is going to guide us. Okay? Do it all, no matter what. If we get caught up in FEMA, by the FEMA troop, put in the FEMA camps, you know, we'd be in prison, right? Or we'd be as pilgrims upon the earth. Okay? The Lord is going to protect us and going to keep the hedge. He's going to keep us from the hour of temptation. Right? But it says here, Jumping down to um, verse twenty-five, woe unto you that are full, right? Because you had your, you had your life, the things that you wanted to accomplish, right? For ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. You see, so the Lord is going to turn things around, man. The Lord is going to turn things around. Proverbs chapter 1, verse, um, it's like it was actually in uh, 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, right? You got FEMA troops coming in. You know, your rights being taken away. People that you see getting butchered out there in the streets. Family members getting snatched up. Right? Then you're going to want to speak to the men of the Lord, but that ain't going to happen. It says here, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. So you, you scoffers, you scorners, the delight in that, the Lord is going to turn it up, man. Keep that same energy that you had before, even now, talking your, your ish. Because the Lord is going to confound you wicked ass jakes, man. And it's, and it's a very beautiful time to see because we see these prophecies speaking, okay, and not lying. Okay, soon we're not going to be speaking anymore. And we weren't lying because we're speaking the words of the Heavenly Father, not of our own. You got to understand that, right? And it says here, For that they hated knowledge, and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despised all my, my reproof. They hated it. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. And will be filled with their own devices. So you're going to be destroyed. Being wise in your own eyes. You're going to be destroyed for all the things that you've been doing wrong, man. Okay. But for us, we got to understand this has to happen. Okay? And and when, when uh, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh put the spirit on Elder, to, uh, Elder Apostle Tahar not to go and teach, that is exactly what we are supposed to do. Not to go teach. Keep that in mind. When that word is being sent, not to do the work anymore, you know, listen to the command and just keep it that way, man. And just be with the brothers, man. You know, continue to build with the brothers. You know, and, um, you know, as the scriptures say, iron sharpens iron, right? You got to get ready. The Lord said, prepare thyself for, for battle. And this is exactly what we're doing right now. Because, you know, right now, you know, things is about to change here very soon. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honor to the apostles, the others, great millstone, that teach and rule well, among many other things. And peace and salutations to the elect that scatter abroad for winds. Shalom.